Hi, I'm Lou. Another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Roger. Roger's nope. been on the show before. What's your last name, Roger? McNider. McNider. And Roger has, uh, first of all, he's always got a couple of interesting things every time I talk to him. One of the interesting things was he has every Illinois license plate. You could take a look Since at that. Since 1911. Which is when they started making actual license plates. There were little tags before that. But he has actual plates. So as I'm talking to him about other cars, because we did his 81 Corvette that was originally owned by him, he happens to share with me how many Corvettes do we have behind us? Two. 62 Corvettes. Two 62s. So let's take a look at them. So, Roger, <laughs> first of all, how do you end up with two? What happened? First of all, which was the first one? Well, the black car was the first one. All and right. It was painted white. Uh, <clears throat> it got painted changed in 1987. I purchased it in 1974. Drove it for that length of time white and then did a complete paint job to black. Uh, after I had the car one year and went to an NCRS meet, uh, I found my Corvette wasn't as gorgeous as I thought. What, what did the guy say to you humbly? He, he said, do you drive this every day? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of broke my heart. Yeah, and you're like, no. <laughs> so then I uh, went into Hemmings and uh, found the red Corvette in uh, Champaign, Illinois by the third owner with 30,000 miles on it. Wow. And uh, so I had one car to go and one car to show. One car to go, one car to show. Let's start with go. And now an interesting story on the black one. The black one's had a new engine and things like that. It looks tremendous. And uh, I can share with you that I was fortunate, thank you Roger, by the way, I was fortunate enough to drive this one over here. And when we drove this one over, people couldn't stop looking at not only one, but two 62 Corvettes coming down the road. People are stopping by the, we tried to run into a park so that we can get the chance to feature these for you. Now, Roger, this was your first one. What year did you buy this one? 1974. 1974, so 42 years ago, this one came in, and as some judge humbly said to you, is this your daily driver? And uh, you said you had to pick up the other one. So the other one is the show car. Now tell us about, we're gonna feature the show, although obviously we're gonna show you the go too. So here's the show. Now Roger, first of all, tell me about these license plates. Uh, this <coughs> license plate is from the 100th anniversary of Motorama two uh, for General Motors. Uh, it started in uh, Bowling Green, Kentucky with a Corvette of every year. This was the represent for 62. We drove to Detroit and then we're part of the Centennial for GM. And they gave out just one plate for 62, correct? Yes. And Each then car got a plate of their year. And this was this was that car for that year. Now they call these cars the C1s, the Corvette uh, uh, enthusiasts, correct? Because it's uh, the, first, uh, the first generation. First generation, that's what I'm trying to get out, right. And I just wanna show these caps, you can see, you can put your fingers behind them there, there. the spinners. Is that what they're called? Yes. And then, in 62, the nice thing about this, because of course the first one was 53, the nice thing about this is they started, you know, this was right before they did the 63, the split window, the famous Corvette there, legendary. But it was also, they started, to, you know, they, they did the best they could with what they had, so it's really kind of a great car. Well, 61 and 62 had the rear end of a 63. Exactly. That was the start of the four taillights. So it has that 63 flavor in a 62, and, uh, Lots and lots of fun. We've also got a full trunk. We're gonna show you this trunk because this car, usually I wouldn't show you a trunk. That's really cool how that's like embossed there. And, and, it, and it looks like it. We're gonna show you this trunk since this car is a numbers matching, and you can read it, Bloomington Gold NCRS top flight. NCRS is National Corvette Restorer Society. Restorer Society. And there's his cover car. That's a the solid side. axle Corvette Club. And Roger's a, Roger's a fan of the uh, license plates, so we've got those there. All right, and that's just, there's the opposite side of that. So you can see that. 
Okay, let's shut that. Let's take a look at the interior. I'll do that. How do you get the, uh, is this just push open for the gas cap? Yes. Okay, just pushes open. Got it. Okay. And then the door has an interesting configuration to it, as you can see, because it's actually kind of angled. The oil sticker is from 1964. <laughs> really? 1964. And for the purists, the seat belt what, should what be is, red. What is this? What is that? That's the door lock. Door lock, okay. All right, door handle, door lock, I got you. And we'll just sit in there and give you the flavor of this. First of all, you've got your, your braking there, your fuel, your temp, your tack. I love the tack right in the center there. And then your wonder bar, radio, defroster. Your four speed, your Corvette, and your handle there with that, and the mirror right there. While well, we've got this here, let's open the hood. The hood release. Now, Roger, just for grins, we'll open the other one too, just so that people could see the engine on the other car. But I'm going to take a take a moment while he's doing that and just show you all the features of his gold car. This was the first year for 327 engines. Oh, really? There was four horsepowers, 250, 300, 340, which this car is, and 360. So the... was fuel injected. Okay, fuel injected was the top one. Got it. Okay. This is the last Corvette with a generator. I'm trying to do that. That might be easier for people to see that that way. Let's start her up, just so people can hear a little bit of this. A tag I noticed here. Sounds good. That's a solid lifter. Solid lifter. Give it just a little rev, Roger. Nice open cam. Give it just a little rev. Alright, beautiful. We'll shut this one down. That looks good. We'll shut this hood. Beautiful. Let's take a look at our other engine over here. Now this one's had a different engine, although the outside of it looks all stock. So you got, go ahead, tell them, tell them what that's we That's a crate engine. Uh, when I purchased the car, it did not have the original engine in with fuel injection, which was not originally on this particular car. Uh, the engine lasted me 30 years and it hydro-locked and I replaced the engine with a ZZ4 crate engine. Okay, while I'm talking to you, let me look at the camera. So what's the reaction when you're driving this one? Or driving any of them? By the way, when you're at a car show with both of them, which one gets more attention? Uh, a few times I've had both cars at a show, the black one gets more attention than the red one. Is that right? We got an airplane going by too. Yeah, that's okay. So, so, uh, um, so this one gets more attention than the black one, just the color, the combination, the, the convertible top is black. I think the red, and, uh, red interior with the black exterior is a standout. Standout. And yet this car, when you're at this car, when we're at the, uh, 
when we're at the, the, the Corvette shows is the winner, so to speak. Yes, this is a yeah. numbers matching car. Well, you know, just me and you driving over here, I mean, what was happening? Well, of course, you get people stop to look at one and when you <laughs> see two of them, it <laughs> kind of blows your mind. Yeah, it was a blast driving over. All right, let's turn this one on just in case people say, what's that one sound like, Lou? And the interiors are relatively the same, so I won't re-go over the interior. That's smooth. That's real smooth. That sounds good. That sounds good. All right, let's shut that off. Roger, one other thing I want you to show me which you were telling me about two top Corvettes and one top Corvette. What were the options that you could get in 62? In 62, whoever ordered the car could have a soft top or a hard top, or for 230 some dollars have a two top car. Okay. The black car has two tops. It's got holes to for the hard top to okay, fasten here. to. In here, okay. Where the red car just has the clip downs for the soft top. So we got nothing but the soft top here. Okay, let's try to put the soft top down. While you're doing that, I'm gonna shut that. Show people how that works. Cause there's a button inside to push too. So what are you doing there? You're, you're okay, you're opening those clamps. I see that, those back there. And I like to do it from the other side. Okay, I just wanna, there's a clamp there, and there's a clamp up there, and the clamps look like that. They plug in there. A push button there in the center. Push that in just uh, the, uh, this part forward, that's it. Got it, I got gotcha. you. And this slips down. Oh, that's pretty smooth. Push that down. Sure. Push it around the seat. Good. 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 Just like that. So let's take a look at it with the top down and give people that view. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good stuff right there. Roger, stand right there with the two cars. Roger, thanks for being on my car story. See you again. Thanks.